so hello everyone uh, my name is orkodi banerji uh, this year i have neat 2023 exam uh, and i am expecting a score of nearly 651 uh, it can vary from 646 to 651 because uh, one question of chemistry is getting controversial otherwise nearly expected score is 651 physics 170 chemistry 146 bio 335 the uh, today we'll discuss in the video the sources i uh, studied in the last six months of my preparation in this drop uh, actually in biology if we focus we'll focus mainly on the ncrt we'll focus mainly on the ncrt each and every line of ncrt is important in biology if you know it you can do anything so the next material that i focused is biohack uh, we have a youtube channel named parth goel so that brother uh, has a book named biohack in which every line of ncrt is treated as a question format so it will help you to active recall very correctly and i used it uh, for the full of my six months preparation and it helped me a lot in improving my biology marks the next thing that you have to do is uh, a ncrt based question practice because in uh, see according to uh, me if you read only NCRT, it will not help you to that limit. If you do the NCRT based question practice mainly statement based, mainly statement based and AR question that is assertion reason based question. If you do these two types of question, then you will get a good grip over your concepts and your NCRT based preparation. The last and the least if in every subject, you have to do the PYQs at least for once the last six to seven years. In chemistry, uh, for the physical chemistry part, I'll suggest you do NCRT for the theoretical part and the formula chart making. Make the formula chart. It's very important. Make the formula chart. Do the maximum of the numerical practices. Do the maximum of numerical practices. Nearly 200 questions of each chapter. Nearly. To get a good grip of your concepts. And I personally used ChemHack for building the ncrt based theory for building the ncrt based theory i personally used the cam cam hack by path well and the as least is uh, the pyqs you have to do it for five minimum to five to six years in inorganic chemistry uh, ncrt is the bible ncrt is the bible i will t I, I would suggest you to uh, make some handwritten notes from ncrt so that it becomes easy to learn because only reading ncrt for me it was boring so i made some copies or in which i wrote the each line of ncrt in a col colorful formats in case of chem hack i used ncrt uh, i used uh, chem hack for inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry for theoretical part and pyqs for organic chemistry you have to strictly use ncrt then practice the questions from chem hack and do the pyq it will do enough more than enough next in case of physics you have to read either the lectures or the class notes or the ncrt for making the formula charts for making the formula chart and the theoretical base because this time from the last couple of years the questions are coming ar based assertion reason statement based and they're focusing more on the theory if you don't know the theory and know only numericals, it will be a very bad day for you on the day of examination. So you have to have a good grip over your theory and the basic concepts of physics. In case of uh, the next part, per chapter try to solve more than 300 questions. Because and 300 questions not of the same type, of different different types. Because once you know the different types of questions coming, it will be easy for you to tackle each chapter in, on the day of examination, solve the PYQs. And at last, you can do the AR question practice from any platform uh, for the theoretical base, for making your theory base strong. If you follow these things, I think it is more than enough for you to crack uh, at present the level of NEET exam. It is more than enough for you to crack. If any help you need it, uh, comment down below. Even ping me uh, in, in Instagram or anywhere. I will help you. No problem. All the best for the NEET 2024 aspirants i hope you have great help 
by seeing this video. Thank you very much.